Bobby Black with Thank Jesus. I want to invite you to join us today as we discuss what it means to not worry. You know, Scripture talks about worry. In fact, in Matthew chapter 6, verse 34, it says, Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Amen. Ain't that the truth? Each day has enough for us to worry about without having to worry about the future or what we left behind right in the past. So I want to encourage you to join us today as we discuss what it looks like to live a life that Christ has called us to, a life of no worry, no fear, as we join together this week on Think Jesus. Well, I think this next one is going to talk to a lot of people. Um, you know, there's a lot of folks in this world today who are filled with worry, who are filled with anxiety. Uh, and I mean, it's, it's all in our churches, guys. If you, if you look at our people, uh, there, there's people hurting, there's people worrying, uh, people who are stressed out and overwhelmed with life, you know, and uh, I think they need a word from God. I think they need uh, to, to hear God speak to them and, and feel his presence. And, and so, Matthew, I think uh, 634 is, is where we have that marked. Um, and it says this, it says, Don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring its own worries. And today's trouble is enough for a day. And man, I tell you, I read that and I think about those words quite often. I don't know if y'all pay much attention to these words, but for me, I, I think about these and, and how true it is that today's trouble is enough for today. I mean, you know, we can... <laughs> We can, we can dig ourselves a hole really quick, worrying about everything. Mm -hmm. and, it's, and it's extremely hard for us to put everything aside and just focus on now and the moment. And, and I have struggled for the last year, uh, as I think about this piece of scripture, to, to do this, to, to stop focusing on everything else and focus on now and what God has planned for me today. And, and, and it's when I, I throw in there what God has. For me, and it's when I focus on what God has for me that I forget about my worry, yeah, and right. and so that's that's where I go when I get this piece of scripture, and um, I just think I just I want people to know that you know God is over and above and exceeding anything in this world. There is I don't care what fear you have, what worry you have, uh, I don't care what it is. God is bigger. God is greater. And, and he will give you the power yes. to, to get through it, to get above it, beyond it, whatever it is. But it only comes through that right relationship with Christ. And man, I tell you, that's, that's one of the things I think for me that um, I, here lately my life has been a little more difficult than I'm used to. And, um, and I have got worries. I've got, I've got stress. And, and this for me has really spoke hard the last few months. Uh, for me to, to read this over and over and over and just know that, you know, worry about today. God's, God's got a plan, and as long as I'm connected with God, no matter what I'm facing right now or, or in the days to come, as long as he is in my life, there is absolutely no reason to fear uh, and, and no reason to worry. So I, what, what does this scripture say, y'all? We, we, can, we can hash this out. I know, I know there's going to be some comments on this one. So uh, what do y'all think about worry? Who's turn? Well, the Bible also tells us in uh, Philippians 4, 6, it says, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. Brother Ollie was speaking how if he'll get into a mindset of thankfulness, it him, helps him rid himself of worry. Um, we really... And I really never thought about it until just recent years how really worry is a sin. Uh, mm -hmm. Jesus said straightforward there in the, in, in the, in the new, new International Version, do not worry. Three simple words, a direct command. So every time we worry, we're really sinning. The problem is sometimes I worry when I don't want to worry. And that's what gets me. I don't want to commit this <laughs> sin, but I still find myself doing it. And to worry is also, I guess, the reason it's um, spoken of so much is when we worry, we're not trusting God. And he 
longs for us to trust in him. And if we truly get our trust right with God, these worries will subside. And so, you know, this has been a big issue for me. God, I don't want to sin. I don't want to worry. So how do I stop? And Philippians 4, 8 speaks to me, I guess, uh, closer than any other thing. And it helps me more. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, honest, just, pure, things that are of good report, if there's any virtue, if there's any praise, think on these things. It's retraining our brains how, how to think. It's retraining our brains what things to think about. And so I have not got it conquered yet. I still worry. I'll sit right here. The pastor will confess before you. I sin. I worry. <laughs> Bugs me. <laughs> it makes me mad at myself sometimes. But I still do this. But I go back to the word. Philippians 4 8. Think about these things. And Philippians 4 4 says, Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say, Rejoice. And then in verse 7, And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, mm -hmm shall keep your hearts and minds mm. through Christ Jesus. Yeah. So, I, And then I go to Romans 12 too. <laughs> to don't be conformed to this world, but be you transformed by renewing this mind right here. Mm -hmm. So that's where I begin, and I'm still working on it, <laughs> and, and I'll continue to work on it, I'm sure, until the Lord comes and gets us. But one thing I know for sure is He does not want us to worry. He is my source. He is my supply. And the more I realize that, the less I'll worry. The more I'll thank him, like you referenced, the more I'll have a thankful heart, the less I'll worry. He's done too much. He's proved himself too real to me too many times for me to forget what he's already done. And if he provided for me then, he'll provide for me tomorrow. Amen. Me and my wife, years ago, we saw a church sign that said, what part of thou shalt not do you not understand? <laughs> and, I, and I'm going to apply that here. What part of do not do we not understand? <laughs> and then following Pastor Travis here, one thing, the only thing that I can think of that we could replace worry with would be worship. Would be like mm. yeah. You know? Yes. And and uh, therefore, do not worry about tomorrow. These two, these two verses came to my mind. First of all, Isaiah 55 and 8, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, and my ways are not your ways, says the Lord. And then, then down in, in Jeremiah um, 29 and 11, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Praise God. For I know the thoughts. I know the plan that I have for you. God knows all this. And therefore, we shouldn't worry about tomorrow we get so wrapped up in, in worrying about tomorrow. And again, I, I just want to go into a life lesson. Uh, I, was, I was early in my pastoral ministry, and, and I had all the I was I was 25, 26 years old, uh, a very young man, good health. Um, and, and I had all the signs of either uh, of a coming stroke or a coming heart attack. And uh, uh, I was at the point... Don't do this often. Was at the point I was telling my wife, I'm going to have to go have some tests around. I got something going wrong with my body. And, uh, and she said, What are you doing different? And I said, Well, I, I go over to the church on Monday and I go through uh, the previous Sunday services and reevaluate and finances and attendance and all this stuff. And she said, Quit doing that. And I said, Well, I can't. You know, I, I want to make sure all the affairs of the church are okay <laughs> and everything else. It's godly worry. Yeah. And she said, she said You're worrying yourself to death. Mm. And, uh, and so uh, I called my dad up. He was pastoring in Knoxville then. And I called my dad up and I said, uh, I said, you got a, you got a pool at your house. Uh, uh, you got a few days off, yeah? And I said, uh, me and Tammy and the girls are coming up and I want to spend about three days with you. And, and I want to ask you to do me a favor. Uh, I, I don't take this as biblical advice and uh, just do it if the Lord would lead you to do it. But I asked him, I said, will you do me a favor? And he said, what's that? I said, I'm not bringing the Bible. Because if I go to reading the Bible, I'm going to start thinking about the church. And it's killing me thinking about the church. Mm -hmm. And I said, uh, so I, I'm not going to bring my Bible. I said, I don't want to talk about my church. I don't want to talk about your church. I said, uh, if God comes up, that'll be okay. But if he don't come up, that'll be okay. I just need a break. I said, I just want to enjoy my family. 
enjoy time with my girls. And so we spent three days in Knoxville, Tennessee, and our girls swam every day. We cooked out, we ate, we had a great time. I left over those, after those three days, he said, son, it'll be all right. God will help you through this. I've never dealt with worry again. Praise God. I, I gave it up. I said, you know, Praise God. God's going to take care of it. Mm, he, his thoughts are higher. His ways are higher. <laughs> he knows the plan that he has for yeah. us. Amen. So, I mean, I'm just going to focus on today. We get so wrapped up in it. We talked about before we started this, this year, yeah. this year. You know, I believe we're going to have breakthrough this year. I believe we are. But are we having breakthrough today? Amen. Praise mm. God. That's right. It's available. It's available. Mm. Amen. Amen. Because he says, don't worry about tomorrow for tomorrow. We'll worry about its own thing. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Let's think about today. There are people that need breakthrough today. Mm. Amen. Amen. If you're in worry, when you hear this, and if you're in worry right now, just leave worry and go right into worship. Amen. Praise God. Mm. It'll be the best help you'll ever get. Mm. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Yes. You know, our brains begin to crack when we're worrying about tomorrow and regretting yesterday. Yeah. There are pharmacies and business because of this. There are psychologists, psychiatrists, and counselors around the globe that have jobs just because people worry or regret. That's right. They're living in tomorrow or they're living in yesterday. Right. Now, why, you know, we're, we got some pretty good bodies. Why can't we handle this? Because we weren't made to handle that. Mm -hmm. We are now. That's what I say. Anyone who's watching, you are now. We're not tomorrow. Amen. Right. Yesterday's gone. That's right. right. Tomorrow's not promised. When we know God is, you know, God is the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, and that sounds so grand and so cool. We know it to be true, and we have a hard time understanding it and all this. But when the first time after the fall that God gave a name for himself to humans, it was I am. I'm here. We got an Emmanuel, God with us. Not see you tomorrow. Yeah. Not you missed me. It is I will yeah. never leave you. I will never forsake you. I'm not just going before you. I am in you. Yes. I am not going to leave Amen. you. Now, when well, I realize that I am now, and God is now, and he is for me, God is within me, I will not fail. Greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world. Then anything I come up to will give me the confidence of David to be able to run at Goliath and go, you're going to fall. That's a great time to look at the past. Yeah. God got me through the lion. God got me through the bear. <laughs> and you will be eaten by birds by the end of this day. <laughs> That's how we look at our future. We laugh at the future yeah. because we know who holds the future. Amen. And he's with us, for us, in us. We are in union with him. Amen. There's no way that we can fail. Yes. Amen. Oh, praise the Lord. Praise God. God. <laughs> Man, that's good stuff. <laughs> oh, that sets me on fire. Um, you know, just just thinking about these things. You know, I was sitting there thinking when you were talking, we don't have to leave God a message. <laughs> you know, he, he don't have an answer machine. Right. It's, he, he picks up every phone call, right? And, and that's, that's an amazing thing. But one of the scriptures that I've listened to y'all talk that's uh, been pointed out to me over the years uh, that just has really spoke to my heart is by a minister that, well, the scripture was by God, but, <laughs> but it was given to me by a minister as I was beginning a walk uh, in, in this pastorship. Um, or, um, and and it, was, it was Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding, and all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. Guys, that's the only thing that gets me through every day. <laughs> trust in God. You know, and, and trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on my understanding. I can't, I can't do it on my own. I don't have the knowledge. I don't have the ability, Amen. the power to do those things on my own. Uh, you know, but he'll make our path straight if we'll only give him that trust. And he'll take that worry out of our lives if we'll give it to him. Praise God. Uh, yeah. and, and just like you said, I mean, he's done it for you. He's done it for many. And he'll continue yeah. to do it. But yeah. it's just a matter of us realizing Amen. how to handle it and how to how to get past it. And, and you know, if you're if you're worrying, <laughs> Travis said it's a sin. It is. But yeah. but we're all sinners, and we all do it. And, and we fail. Even pastors, the best pastors, fail yes. to to handle this sometimes the way that we need to. So. Uh, just just know that there are ways to handle it. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you, and exactly, thanks be to God Praise that God. we have that opportunity uh, and we can, we can deal with it appropriately. Um, we have this word. I've hidden your word, word in, in my, my heart Amen. that I might not sin. Mm-hmm. You know, we're not required to right. sin. That's right. Isn't that crazy? Right. You know, we're just like, well, we're all, right. we, you know, we all have sin. We don't have to tomorrow. That's right. We've been set free from this. Right. I've hidden this word in my heart that I might not sin. And now it's not that, well, I won't do that again. It is now a lamp to my feet, a light to my Amen. path. Amen. Tomorrow will be different. That's right. Amen. Amen. So. <laughs> we are no longer slaves to sin. Yes, He's been, yeah. he, we have been set free by his yes, by sir. his crucifixion, by his death, burial, and resurrection. Mm. We are set free. We're no longer slaves to sin any longer. Mm. Yeah. Praise God. 